Well, five local businesses are getting thousands of dollars in grants to help make some improvements. Awesome, right? So joining me now is Brad Mason with the Cincinnati Regional Chamber and Marianne Ginnam, owner of Mount Washington Creamy Whip. So Brad, we'll start with you if you want to just talk a little bit about what this program is and how it works. Yeah, this is called the uh, Storefronts to Forefronts program. It's a partnership with Duke Energy and we did it last year where we promoted 11 uh, business districts throughout the region. And this okay. year we did it a little bit different. We we're highlighting five business districts and offering grants to uh, five businesses within those districts, each getting uh, $5,000. So it's okay. uh, a way to kind of give back a little bit more direct this year. Uh, last year was strictly marketing, but this year we're able to, to supply some grants. And so one of those is the Creamy Whip, correct? Mount Washington Creamy Whip. Okay, so Marion, tell me about that. You've got this grant money. How is that going to help you and your business? Well, over the years, our business has grown exponentially. Um, we're 14 years and we are a dairy business, so we're constantly getting deliveries of dairy, and we have a mishmash of refrigerators. Mm. This big one, that small one, that small one. So what we want to do is put a walk-in refrigerator where everything can be combined and put into one. You just wheel it in. So then we can make so much more room for storage in, in our back area. So it's just, it just makes sense. Yeah. Um, sometimes we wonder where are we going to put the dairy. So. Yeah. Yes. I'm sure as a small business owner, there are so many positives, but there's some tough times too. Oh yeah. What does it mean to you to get help like this, to get a grant like this, to say, hey, we're here to support you and, and help lift you up? No, that's, I think it's fabulous. I've never done anything like this before, and to be um, selected has been a great honor. Um, it's, it's entailed a little bit more than I thought it would, but I'm happy to have it. I mean, we talked about getting a walk-in. We priced the walk-in. Then we said, hmm, we'll see if we can do the walk-in. Now we yeah. know we could do the walk-in. So it's a, it's a big plus to us. So okay. it's awesome. Brad, can you talk a little bit about how you guys choose? There are so many incredible businesses across the tri-state. That's got to be tough to narrow down to five. Yeah, absolutely. We saw an extraordinary amount of applications come this year, and it was an absolutely tough process to narrow it down. Uh, you know, the application came down to, you know, the need uh, of the business and the story that they were able to tell behind uh, who they are and what they mean to their community as well, too. Mm. So that selection process uh, took a, a little over a month, but we went through each one and, and and narrowed it down and eventually we got the five that we see today. Okay. Do you know what are the other four off yeah, the top so, of your head? Not yeah, to put you on the spot. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so we have Mount Washington Creamy Whip. We also have uh, King Arthur's Toys, which is in Oakley. Okay. Uh, we also have um, the Goshen Grind in Goshen, Ohio. Then we have the Roebling Books and Coffee in Dayton, Kentucky. Sure. And then finally we have the uh, 272 Bakery up in Clifton. And look at that. We have a graphic up there right right now as well, just to give you a little bit of more information about some of those places. So if there is a business owner watching this who's thinking, you know, hey, I, I might be interested in trying to get a grant, what should they do, Brian? So, um, you know, the gr grant process is closed for this year. Uh, we're still deciding if this is something we're going to do next year, but the Cincinnati Chamber uh, very frequently does offer grant programs. We have one now through the Johnson Foundation as well, uh, specifically designated in the OTR Pendleton area down there, but every once in a while we'll have opportunities like that come along. Okay, so it sounds like it could come back, a little unsure, but there's always opportunities out there. Yes. Okay, thank you both so much, Brad thank Marianne, for thank joining us this for morning. Us. Sounds like a great program helping some local businesses here. So we do want to send